you decided to start streaming and you have hopes of becoming a content creator. One question you might ask yourself is, uh, which streaming platform should I stream to? What's going to help grow me the fastest? What audience do I appeal to? There's a lot of different questions when it comes to like what streaming provider service, I should say, should you stream on? So I had this thought and I had to ask the question, is DLive going to be a good place for smaller content creators now? And uh, I wanted to get some thoughts on this topic because there's a lot of different things that could suggest that DLive could be an up and coming platform in the future. And so if we take a if we take a look at this uh, next tweet I have here, we have following Twitch's enforcement of a gambling ban, slot streamers have been forced to migrate to a new platform called DLive. And from my understanding, talking to one of my buddies, I, I didn't even know what DLive was before, like maybe like a week ago or something like that. And I was reading some articles about you know, like Twitch is, uh, has officially made it so you can no longer gamble on sites like Stake and other, other things like that, right? So, basically, there could be a large amount of people going to DLive to stream and watch their, their streamers. Will it be mainly, like, gambling-oriented? Probably. But that also made me think of something else of just having a more popular platform, a more popular streaming platform that's not oversaturated might be a good place for smaller content creators. Now the question is, will it be a good space for smaller content creators? Before we answer that question though, let's take a look at the next tweet I have here. It feels so good streaming on DLive. Thank you guys for switching platforms to watch your favorite gambling streamer. Uh, you know, this tweet has like 31 likes or so. I, I don't really know this guy. I was just looking up people talking about DLive. But here's an example of people actually switching to DLive. And this was uh, tweeted out yesterday. So... It's, it's rather relevant. I've seen a few tweets about it. And it got me thinking, when you go to DLive here, which I'm on the homepage for DLive, I did create an account because I am a smaller content creator and I am looking for new ways to grow my audience. However, um, you know, I, do, I have amassed about 500 followers on like Twitch and stuff like that, grown a little bit of an audience on YouTube and TikTok. So, um, it would be a decision for me to move over to DLive if I was going to. Um, and also, it's not like I would have to commit. I, I've honestly thought about, like, trying a week on it and seeing what kind of results I could get in comparison to Twitch. DLive allows gambling, which I'm not a gambling streamer, but the site... It's not like it's super oversaturated with streamers either. So if we scroll down, we see that like there's not a whole lot of viewers. You're seeing people with like 30 viewers towards the top, 16 viewers, 10 viewers. I can easily find, you know, smaller streamers here. This person has jalapeno cheeseburger as their title. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it could there could be some content creators on here that have, uh, that could be of interest, you know, and not necessarily well-known content creators, maybe just people trying to make a name for themselves and trying to get started. Twitch is so oversaturated. Um, Twitch is just so oversaturated. Like, let's take a look at Twitch right now. And the comparison here, when you try to find a smaller content creator, I'm showing up on Twitch right now. And let's see. Everything I see here on the main page of Twitch is primarily people with over a hundred viewers. Now getting a hundred viewers is not easy at all when it comes to be being a content creator. So you might think, hey, um, DLive could be a good place to make a start 
gain a following. There's a there's a few things to think about that though. Is that are people going to be using the D Live service consistently? Are they going to be coming back to watch your stream, or are they just going to go over to Twitch where they can watch uh, more popular content and stuff that they might enjoy more? Sure, a lot of uh, like slots viewers and stuff like that will be could hang around on DLive for a while. It's just a matter of how long could that surge last if a surge were to happen. One of the biggest streamers from Twitch is Trainrex, and you know here I believe this this might not actually be his profile, but there is a. DLive profile for Trainrex, and if he were to start streaming on DLive, that could bring a huge influx of viewers and stuff like that, and popular popularize the platform um, a little bit more. Uh, like I said, I know DLive has been around for a while, so is it sustainable? We don't really know. But in addition to this, Trainrex, Trainwreck. Put out a tweet saying, I'm going to create a platform or team up with one and instead of only contracting large creators. I want to primarily contract small mid-sized creators. So he's trying to find people that he, you know, that, that could be good content creators, just with not a huge audience. Current platforms deem you irrelevant, but you are the backbone of the entire industry, which is true. I think that a lot of people who are on Twitch would also like to stream and stuff like that. Um, so I, I think that's definitely true. Uh, it, I've heard some statistics like, and I don't know if these are accurate. <laughs> They're just from what I've heard in my personal knowledge is that most of Twitch is, uh, most of the money is going to the top 10, 10 to 20% of streamers on there. Maybe even a smaller p margin, you know, I don't really know. And it says, you're the backbone of the entire industry and you deserve at least a little security. Especially for, I agree with this statement, especially for people who put a lot of hard work into their content and are willing to create, uh, create like content outside of just their normal live stream, creating YouTube videos, creating YouTube shorts, creating TikToks. Um, those types of creators, I think, deserve recognition and stuff like that because they are putting a lot of work into what they do and a lot of people have to work full-time jobs on top of that to provide for their hobby slash life so it's very interesting um i don't personally take a stance on slots or gambling i just don't some you know i think that there definitely could be some negatives to people streaming slots and stuff like that but there could also i don't really know if i could think of positives at the moment um but let, let, let's read on a little bit as the ba actual black sheep of twitch i've single-handedly created four different massive waves and trends across all platforms over the last four years i have a vision chance for failure is high but that's the exact environment i thrive in and excel in i'd rather fail than be Constantly disrespected by people on a platform who I know aren't even one out of a hundredth of what they appear to be. Someone asks about the bandwidth and stuff like that, and he says, If I was using AWS, uh, then the costs. I'm assuming they're talking about costs there. And scaling. Um, but he's saying basically like maybe a provider that doesn't use AWS, that doesn't cost a fortune to upkeep. Do we know if that's possible? It could be. Do I think with uh, a, a good amount of money you could make something like this happen? Yeah, sure. It's a very interesting thing to read here. And as a small content creator, I think, you know, I'm keeping my eyes and ears open. Any sort of opportunity that could benefit me and grow my audience is something worth looking into. So I thought it was fascinating. I think if Trainwreck does do something like this, it, it would be a generous thing to do for uh, for a lot of people out there getting into this uh, sort of expertise. So 
really, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Uh, is D-Life something you're going to keep an eye out for? Uh, what other platforms have you heard of as far as content creation goes? Uh, just let's get a conversation started. And, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time.